Yo, what's up guys, I'm Rusa Gaming, and today we are going to be checking out the star circle function together because you know what, I've not done any of it since the update came out. Reason behind that is when I was doing my previous video, I kind of got it all done for the video, then the servers went down and by the time they came back up, I had to redo the quest. I didn't redo it thinking they might have fixed it, but instead they just gave us back the compensation of all the stuff that we had spent previously, but we had to redo the quest anyway. So I got all that done last night and I did buy some supplies, but I thought, you know what, we'll do it together in this video. So buying supplies, guys, you go to trade, you go to metal store and you see that there is a new option called star circle store. I bought everything. Now, it did cost me 18 million silver so I could purchase everything in the store as well as 10 courage medals. I'm going to buy all those now just so you guys can see. I don't know if you get random amounts uh, of star shavings from these uh, star ore powder, uh, sorry, the star dust ore powders. I've always received five though and I think I've bought six altogether now, those being two of the six. I also purchased all of the star shavings. Now the other way of getting star shavings without spending silver is by dismantling gear. Now, I've only received them from dismantling epics. I'm not saying you can't dismantle other gear and get them. Maybe it's just rarer. I have no idea. And that is probably the fastest I've spent 18 million silver. So, yeah, that's uh, a lot of silver just to kind of throw away. But, nonetheless, oh, we got ourselves an achievement as well. What was the achievement? Call me Folger, it says. I can't click on it. Why can't I click on it? Come on, let's go and see what that one was. Okay, it's not letting me click on it. Okay, so it might pop up randomly. So if I quick, quickly head over to the skills, go to a star circle itself, you'll see that mine is still obviously level one. And there we go, spend a total of one billion silver. Oh, wow, okay. That's a lot of silver to spend. Um, anyways, uh, so as you can see, the passive attributes is uh, spell damage plus one, attack plus one, defense plus one, spell defense plus one. Now it doesn't matter how many star cycles once they unlock more, at the moment we only have one, which is the swiftness, but they will be bringing out others, which will go into these other slots. And all of the passive attributes are going to add up, giving us insane amounts of passive attributes, which is going to just be a massive, just increase on your character rating itself and your damage, healing or tanking capabilities. After you've obviously unlocked the flower, if you haven't already watched my previous video, go do so now. But you click on Cultivate, and then you'll get this window. So obviously, it starts at tier 0, even though it does show 1. Um, I'm guessing that's because it's level 1 of 5. I'm going to level that up to tier 1. See what it takes us. So I don't actually know what this box here does. If we click on in Ticket, what does it happen? Well, what happens? You upgrade it once, and that's it. Okay, so the passive attributes went up by 1 each time. If I untick it and click level up, what does that do? Um, okay, uh, I'm not too sure what exactly, uh, like ticking the, tick the box even does, if I'm being honest, but, um, oh, it only uses one at a time, that's what it means, so when it takes four, you can click the box and it'll only use one of the four, so if we click it, you'll see that it'll go down to three, if you take it off and click level up, it goes automatically all the way through, so that's kind of handy to know, um, now once you get it to level five out of five, you then got to upgrade it. Now, obviously, I don't see any material cost here, so I'm guessing it's free. There we go. We've got ourselves the tier one. I can tell you now, though, that tier one to tier two, tier two to tier three is definitely not free. But we have unlocked ourselves a new Swiftness Auxiliary Star One, and it can be unlocked. Click Unlock Now. And there we go. We just unlock it just like that. And then you can level this up just like you leveled up the, the previous one. And it looks like I've got an A grade which is actually pretty good because obviously you can get C grade, B grade, A grade, S grade and double S grade. Obviously double S being the best, but A is pretty decent. Um, a lot of people I've been seeing have been getting B grades. So if I click charge up on this, um, okay, so it does have quite a few chargings to do just the left at once. And then the next uh, charge up requires the starlight mirrors and five frost hearts. So we're going to have to obviously get that working on as soon as possible. I don't have the mirror, but I believe you can purchase it for gold. But I don't actually have any spare gold to spend right now. Um, obviously, I'm doing pretty well in the frost, uh, frost heart department. But if we go back to this one and then we click level up. Now, this can be leveled up 10 times. And as you can see, we are now getting spell crit. The spell crit is because we unlocked the new star, by the way. So leveling up this star will increase the, uh, the spell crit upwards and onwards pretty much. Uh, so if we keep upgrading this, you can see that we're just upgrading our spell damage by quite a lot as well, actually. 
as you can see we are just leveling this thing up and then to upgrade it even further we need a, a cycle star of swiftness and you can buy these with uh with the flowers of tyrannus like we did in the previous video to actually unlock it so we're going to click buy so do our 32 going to click upgrade and now it's tier two and now it's time to level up even more so let's level this up and get ourselves some more passive stats now it does go back to one shaving each time in each level up it goes up so obviously level five to get to level six you need to spend six to get to level seven you've got to spend eight etc so um, getting all the way up to level uh, 20 out of 20 on tier 2 is going to cost quite a lot of shavings. Tier 3 to tier 4 probably be 30 levels and then it'll be it'll just go up and up is, uh, is how I'm going to see things. Also you unlock, once you hit tier 2 you also unlock the next star which is uh, going to give us, let's find out, click unlock, uh, mount speed. And I actually got A grade once again. So I can charge this up again, go through this, and there we go. Need another mirror so we can actually upgrade the level of that. But we'll be coming back to that very shortly. I hope probably in my next video because I do need to get, get some more gold. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I will just spend this uh, this last one here just so I can get myself up to spell crit plus 1% because we unlocked the new star. And also um, level 11 actually gives us plus 26 spell damage so out of all the supplies i actually spent i had 80 million spent uh, silver yesterday 80 million silver spent today in this video so 36 million silver and it's given us plus 26 spell damage now if you are going to take that into you know into consideration of spending it on spell damage gems or just gems in general if you're a ranger paladin or warrior um it, this is actually better value for silver in terms of upgrading your character as of right now at least so if you are rocking diamonds like i am if i quickly show you my diamonds right now um you'll see that i'm running level 30s level 40s i've even got a mountain of light in there which i'll be coming to in another video as well and uh, these are all level 40s the amount of silver i need to spend just to upgrade those just to be slightly and i mean a very slightly bit more better would be so much compared to the actual star cycle itself so it's definitely the best way of upgrading your character as of right now especially when they bring out new stars for you to upgrade in your gear and then you're going to let's say unlock this one and then you've got two stars giving you two lots of attributes and pretty much you're just going to be doubling it just the only downside is that you still need those star shavings to continue upgrading um we will come back to the star circle effects later on but as you can see i've actually only got movement speed and mount speed as of right now but hopefully those will be increased fairly soon anyways though i hope that this video is going to help some of you out um i actually learned a fair bit about it myself doing it for the first time as well as obviously you guys probably doing it for the first time as well if you're watching this video so yeah hope this does help some of you out if it did make sure you hit the video with a nice thumbs up subscribe to the channel and guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video take care everyone